And welcome back to uh, Harley Quinn Show, uh, Season 2, Episode 3, Pros and Cons. Uh, let's just jump right into it. And we got three cons off the bat. You know how this episode is going to go. Uh, first con, what the fuck was that scene with the two idiots telling them how to get past Freeze's ice wall? Like that, that shit was really really fucking stupid and it's actually a common trope that happens a lot in a lot of fucking shows where it's just two idiots are on the enemy team on on the enemy side just for some odd reason just decides to just blab their entire secrets to someone except usually when that happens they've captured the the hero or whatever and they can't get out and then they're like "Eh, it's fine to say this shit because they're gonna die anyway so we can say we can talk about whatever the fuck we want. But in this case, they're on the safety of the wall. They don't have Harley Quinn captured or anything. And then they're just blabbing all this information on how to get past the fucking ice wall. That makes no sense. Like, why would you do that? And then one guy actually catches the other guy. It's like, hey, why are you telling him this shit? And then he just goes full force into snitching on how to get past this fucking wall. What the fuck was that shit? Honestly, that trope needs to stop. That it it does need to stop. It it's not funny. It's not a good idea. It's just really fucking stupid. All right. Next con. Harley has no right to be giving Ivy a relationship advice. Just because she doesn't like Kite Man doesn't mean Ivy has to not like him either. Which is a weird fucking thing because Ivy didn't like him at first, which they admit in the episode. She didn't like him at first either. Which is obvious, but Harley just didn't like him for what reason exactly is she never really well no it, it kind of seems like she doesn't like him because he's a low-ranked villain and that's just about it but other than that she doesn't she just hates him because of that I guess it it's kind of fucking weird but she stated the Joker that right there disqualifies her from giving anyone relationship advice right there she dates joker enough said next con why on god's green earth does harley think dr trap is obsessed with them after he says you can have it if you can best my traps it it is and basically it's just that little scene where fucking they get into his his uh his little museum and they ask if they they just they're basically telling him, hey, we just need to get we just want something from your uh, little museum and we'll be on our way. They're like, yeah, you can have it if you can best my traps. And then she just starts talking about why are you obsessed with us, bitch? How is he obsessed with you? How is he obsessed obsessed with you? Every item in his museum is booby trapped, so he doesn't have to do anything. You just have to get to it and take it. That's it. He's not obsessed with you. He's obsessed with traps. So that's a stupid thing to even say. Next is a pro. It's a beautiful amount of overkill when you demonstrate the traps. Because she throws a fucking quarter at one of the traps and it just... First the spikes, which already have corpses on it. And then more spikes. And then fire. Pretty sure they were dead the moment the first spikes hit them, but hey, why not additional spikes and some fucking fire to just, you know, make sure they're actually fucking dead. I can appreciate that. Anyway, next we have one, two, three, four cons coming up. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate this episode. Oh, I hate this whole second season entirely. Uh, who the fuck is this bitch pretending to be Catwoman? This isn't Catwoman starring Holly Berry back in the day when it had nothing to do with the DC character Catwoman. Which, by the way, I only like that movie because it's Holly Berry in a sexy outfit. Only reason why I like that movie. Other than that, the movie was actually pretty shit. Just saying. But yeah, this whole race swapping uh, Catwoman, yeah, not liking it. Mm -mm. Hate it with a passion. Next, con, Ivy is acting weird, and I don't like it. Like, she is just 
fawning over Catwoman. And, and, and even Harley was like, what the fuck is happening? Because I'm just looking like the whole fucking time. She's like tripping over herself for fucking Catwoman. Hell, Catwoman even takes her fucking jacket. And she's just like, it looks better on her. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is happening? Why is this a thing? It's never been a thing, but it's a thing now in this episode. Like, what the fuck is happening? Next con. The fact that Catwoman said Catsplained. That automatically makes it a con. Next. Kite Man uses Beta Cuck. Enough said. Next. Pro. After agree with Harley... Kite Man and, I, and Ivy have been dating for like three months and already he's at, he's thinking about marrying her. And and I say three months because based, based off of all the other previous episodes, I would say an entire total of three months since they've been dating is possibly longer. Uh, so, yeah. Three months. Either way, they haven't been dating long enough to be thinking about marrying this woman. It's, it's it's moving a little bit too fucking fast. So I actually agree with Harley that he's moving a bit too fucking fast here with this. Uh, next pro. I might not like the race swap with Catwoman. I really don't like it at all. But her personality is intact. And I love that. I really, really do. I appreciate that very much. You kept the personality, but you changed the race for stupid reasons that are that are unknown to me. And even if you do give me a reason, it's probably a dumb one. So it's still the the con still stands, but it, it but this one is a pro that her personality is the same. Next, we got two more cons coming. First one, Ivy is really annoying with this weird thing she has going on with Catwoman. It's like Catwoman is the role model; she desperately wants to like her. And basically, by the end of the episode, they basically kind of confirm that. Well, they don't basically kind of. They actually do confirm it. And that makes no fucking sense. It really, really fucking doesn't. Uh, Next, Kite Man is terrible on picking up social cues. Um, They're about to die, and he's like, you know, decides, I'm about to die, I'm just going to propose to her. And then she, like, kind of blows him off like tries to ignore him and then he continues to try to propose to her and it's like dude read the fucking room you're about to die try to think of a way to get out help get them out of the death trap what the fuck is wrong with you jesus fucking christ pro ivy coming right out and letting kite man know she's not ready for marriage and that is, I appreciate that because some people will just be like, they'll say no and then, well, they'll say no, but then they won't tell you why. Her, she's just like, yeah, I'm not ready. And I don't think I'll ever be ready. At least she just told him why. She didn't just say no and then that was it. No, she's like, this, like, no, I can't because I'm not ready. And I don't think I'll ever be like at least she was honest, and yes, it you can clearly see he's hurt by it, but he needs to know. He can't just leave him hanging, but, and she didn't. She just went out and told him the truth about how she felt about it, and that's and I I, I like that too. I appreciate that. That's that's a good thing. Next, pro. Okay, um, this whole little subplot, side story, whatever the fuck you want to call it, with uh, uh, Doctor Psycho. And the Riddler was somewhat entertaining. Like, honestly, for Dr. Psycho to be taunted the way he was into throwing. What the? F- I, I forget what it was. Was it lotions and body, like, lo- lotion and, and, and shampoo or some shit like that? It was. I forgot what it was, but he was just throwing that shit at him. Then they started chasing. Then he got out. Then they started chasing him all over the fucking mall and shit. And then he just, at the end, he just hooks himself back up to the machine. Like, hey, I was just trying to entertain myself. <laughs> like, what? 
Like, God damn, the Riddler is playing, y'all. And I am kind of upset about that. But it was enter entertaining. But still, God damn, the Riddler played all of these guys. And they're good villains in their own right. If for this, the fucking Riddler to just play all of them like this. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, last con. Uh, Dr. Psycho is mad about being a mall cop. He's been reduced to a goon for the entirety of the fucking show, and he's upset about being a glorified mall cop. Now, it is a small thing that was an entire line that, that was spoken, but it was like, motherfucker, you've been a goon this whole this whole show. Matter of fact, they had an episode addressing the fact that you guys are, in fact, goons. Henchmen. So I'm confused on why you're upset about this now. Oh, maybe you're upset because they already addressed this shit in the episode. I forgot what uh, what number it was. I forgot which. Yeah, I forgot what the number. But it was an episode where they addressed the fact that they were goons. And then there was episode 11 that basically was trying to teach Harley to respect her fucking crew because she needs them. She needs them, not the other way around. So, yeah. And yet, she still, in this season, it's like she forgot all those lessons and just straight up like, eh, fuck my crew. They're just henchmen. They're goons yet again. Ugh. Yeah. And, yes, I probably would count uh, the ending where they had a little nice moment between Harley and Ivy as a pro, plus Ivy going to Kite Man and basically telling him to go ahead and to propose to her. Like, he wasn't sure, and he didn't really want to propose to her again just for her to be unsure or to say no, and she, was, she forced him down on his knees and said, do it. He wasn't sure at that point after she basically, after she said no the first time. And then told him why. So it's like, hey, he was ready to just wait. But she just told him to just go ahead and do it. So there it is. Now, I would count that as a pro if it wasn't for the fact that I've watched the entirety of season two. So I'm not going to count it as a pro. I'm not even going to count it at all. It's just something I'm mentioning. But anyway, this episode was basically shit. It was shit. It had some entertaining things about it, but it was shit all around. But anyway, I'm done.